Hey folks, Engineer775, I want to share a little tip with you, or a new item that has come out to help with the Solark 15K battery hookups. Uh, Lithion or Home, or home Grid, Lithion's the parent company, they came up with a bus bar that would bridge, it solves the problem we've had, the inverter can charge and discharge at a 275 amp rate, but the breakers are rated for 200 so if they're parallel together, then you're good. Well, they made this little bus bar. It's a very simple item, very handy. It saves a lot of room, makes it easier to wire to your battery. Well worth it. I think they're like $40 a pair, but oh my goodness, you'll save that on battery cable and other every other combiner combination. So I've got two pairs in this setup and we were able to go down. So we are using Cobra Flex, so it has a increase like the most ampacity of any battery cable on the market so that's what we like to use a very fine strand you can bend it like spaghetti and so you can see this system is just a, a cranking along this is the slave and this is the master it's got a little more solar on it and it's just boogie and this battery we start off we're about 35 percent oh we're up to 42 in like 20 minutes not even maybe 15 minutes so we're back up and running. Just want to show you that upgrade to there. We had to decommission the system. There were some water problems in this house. So we actually took, it was good timing. We took it all apart and got the batteries out of the way so they could jackhammer in this crazy indoor French drain. And so we're uh, back to charging and running and selling and doing everything that the home grid, I mean home grid, that the Solar can do. So. The system's been performing extremely well. Didn't really want to have to shut it down. That's the beauty of, and I'll bring it up again, the bypass. You want to put a bypass. You'll never know why you need to put a bypass in your system. I did not think that there was going to be three inches of water in this basement. And there would be a mad scramble to fix it. So they had this internal French drain. They came in here, fixed it. It's dry. It's super nice in here now. Hopefully they won't ever, ever have a problem. But we had to put the system back on the grid and that's the lever being switched to this position but now we're in normal operation again and um so put a bypass in yes it's going to cost you five six hundred dollars but i'm telling you you do, do not know the scenario there could be a bms failure uh, a screen goes out um, something goes on with the system that you didn't anticipate and are you going to wait till you have to have the inverter replaced or a battery replaced you can go like we did for five days we and we had to wait for the concrete to cure and all that we went back on the grid back on bypass and we just reinstalled the system so that's where you want to do it put a bypass in very handy especially if you have more than one inverter but i recommend them on every job okay i think that's all i wanted to say on this one engineer 775 signing out